It might be by the time I get back. Ah. Married to Joe. It's an adventure. glad she's eating that entire bone. I not want to miss that. <laughs> Who's the one who gave her the bone? I did not give her a bone. I gave her a very soft treat. But somehow she finds, like, I don't know if we have a, a herd of deer, but she finds antlers right. everywhere. I don't know if they're getting bust in, like grandma's bringing them over and like treating the grandbaby, fur baby. Welcome to Keto on the Couch, episode 95. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we're Two, two Crazy, crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you are new to our channel, welcome. Yes, welcome to the more than 120 new subscribers since the last Keto on the Couch. Now, here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews and we talk about various keto topics. And every Monday, we sit down on the bench and we talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. That way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Now, I'm going to say right now, we may be upsetting people with this backdrop. Why? Because there are a lot of people who, the moment Christmas is over, like December 26th, I don't want to see any more holiday stuff. Wow. We didn't have any time to take our stuff down, though. It'll probably come down tomorrow. But or anyway, Easter. happy new year. Yes, happy new year. I'm excited about this. I'm like, one more time, I want to wear my shirts, wore it, wore it on the live stream, wore it yesterday. I washed it so I can wear it one more day. <laughs> I'm getting the full value. It's a new year. It's 2021. It's time for me to put away my Christmas shirts. Yeah, probably. Except for sometimes I pull them out to wear them as like kind of like rag shirts. When I have to do some work or something like that, I'll pull out some old one. But yeah, I hate this time where you have to put away. I have cool Christmas shirts, like Griswold shirts and everything else. And you have to put them away. As a matter of fact, I noticed somebody on our Facebook group, they were upset. They had ordered our Guacan Around the Christmas Tree shirts. Yes. They ordered them early. And thanks to just the slow shipping, yeah. they got them the day after Christmas. And they're like, can I still wear them? I'm like, I say you can. I say you can wear them all the time. And I think that there are several times during every month of the year that you feel a little bah humbug. Yeah. Don't you feel a little bah Absolutely. humbug? And you just got to pull out that Christmas. Like, hey, like all of the like different like QVC and the stores and Best Buy, yes. they do Christmas in July. So I say come July, pull out all of your Christmas stuff and redecorate your house. I actually love that idea and I think you may have sealed your own fate because I think that's fun because I like all of the the decorations but sometimes the holiday season gets so busy that you really can't enjoy it right you're just let's, throwing it up let's do this it's a new year I want to talk about resolutions or like what your goals are but I did want to mention because we're on that perfect keto Yes. Has, first of all, new electrolytes. That's exciting. Uh, we mentioned it during our live stream. Let me kind of put up a picture of it. So these electrolytes actually have 600 milligrams of potassium. Wow. Very much like the Keto Vitals and the, uh, what's the other ones? The Ultimos that we used to use. Yes. Very similar to the Redmond Relight, but maybe you don't like the flavors of the Redmond Relight. Try this one. They're pretty reasonable. I think it's $32.99. There's 45 servings in there. Mm -hmm. uh, they're not having any kind of special deal for it. They're just out um, there. But they're out there. There's a link down below and if you use our coupon code that will get you 15% off but just be aware that coupon code is a one time use per email address so like I wouldn't just use it on one thing. I'd try to stack up on a bunch of things if you're going to use it that one time. Get the full value. Get the full value. Also if you're not doing any kind of reset because some people like to do resets we're currently doing a 30 day keto chow fast or you're doing seven days of nothing right yeah and then the rest of the month you're doing keto chow I'll, only i'll jump in there with you i'm doing keto chow only and then ha second half of the month i may add in a couple of bricks i'm also at the same time dumping soda i started off on the first day like no soda at all should i go sleep someplace else yeah i've decided i've got to wean my, i can't do the food and the keto chow at the same time um, so I got to wean myself in because I had a massive headache 
from caffeine withdrawal yesterday. Yeah. So I'm going to do like one can a day for the first five days and then get off of the soda completely as well. well so that's a good it's plan. a complete cleanse thing. Other people are doing the seven day restart for keto chow, which we're also participating in. That's the exercise. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you hit that bell button because we're going to do some vlogs this week, including Rachel doing some of the exercises from the seven day restart. I feel very bah humbug about that. I know I need it though. Yeah. I mean, I'm doing a fast, but I'm not fasting coffee. I'm going to have black coffee. Mm -hmm. But I have to say, like, I'm feeling better as every hour goes by. I think I just bogged myself down with like cheese and nuts and sweetener. Right. You know, well, keto we can sweetener, talk about that. I know I did that. And here's the thing. So if you if the seven day reset for keto child starts today, but maybe you didn't get your thing you want, you can start it at any time. We're yeah. just doing it as a community starting today. But if you don't have anything, Perfect Keto actually does have a restart program. Uh, I'll leave a link for it down below. It's called the Keto Kickstart. Nice. And they actually have three different kinds. As I pull up the prices here, they have a free one, which is, I think, really cool. I love anytime somebody yes. offers something free. Like the thing with Keto Chow is free. If you already have Keto Chow, you don't need to buy the seven day program. No. You can just go online and download the ebook of all the recipes and Use things like that. Use what you got. Uh, but they have a free keto kickstart. It's a 30 day kickstart program with daily emails, daily texts, access to their Facebook accountability program. Then they have a $99 program, which includes that stuff, plus a keto kickstart bundle, which is collagen based MCT oil, keto bars, and electrolytes. But again, if you already have that stuff, you're good to go. You don't need that. Now, if you really need some help, and you're just getting started and you don't know what to do, they do have a $179 VIP coaching program. So it includes all that plus one-on-one -on -one coaching with um, Chris Urban. And there's also a three month commitment required for that. So they only have 150 spots for that. But I did want to mention that they do have that Keto Kickstart program. But whatever you do, I think the most important thing is to get started. Whether you do that or you do keto chow or you do something on your own, you have to get started today. Yeah, you need some goals. And it doesn't matter if it is January 4th or it's January 7th. Just jump in right where you at. Yeah. If you're watching this and this is February, <laughs> jump in. It's time. I can tell you, I first of all, I need it. I like giving the first month to God anyway, but I need it because like... 2020 drained me. Yeah. And I decided I was going to go out of 2020 with a bang. Nothing off a of keto. Right. But the last week, you talk about intuitive eating, but my intuitive eating was, was all broken. the cheese snacks that I can find. Right? On our last Cashews. day, we made pizza. And I can't wait until the 31 days of January is over because I can perfect this recipe. But I came up with a keto chow pizza crust by throwing ingredients together. I mean, it's the, it's what happens out of a desperation of that frantic, like, it, it was almost reminds me of like the Lionel Play World supermarket sweep. Like right. how much can you throw in the buggy before yeah. the bell rings? I just started throwing stuff together and I'm like, this sounds like it's gonna work. It was kind of started off with a it play worked. off of the keto chow drop biscuit recipe. Yeah. And I started adding stuff. And the next thing I know, I had a pizza dough that had the texture of a pizza dough. It was delicious, sir. So yeah, as soon as this month is over and we can get back into the kitchen, I plan on doing that. But yeah, I need that reset. That's why it's like, hey, I've got to be super strict right now because I just kind of let myself go. And my goal right now we want to talk about goals. All right. Is I got to stay off that scale. I don't even want to know what I came home from a five day camping vacation eating lots of cheese snacks was. I actually beg Joe, please don't, for me, just don't get on the scale. Yeah. Because there's no, and, and I'm going to say to you guys, and, and you're probably like, well, how am I going to measure success if I don't get on the scale every single day and see what my progress my is? My man boobs are going to go away. <laughs> You're going to fit in your clothes different. That's the, that's the measurement. Take pictures. That's right. Take pictures of yourself right now, even if it doesn't feel comfortable to do so. Pick an outfit that you can just definitely tell, maybe one that's like doesn't quite fit, and you know, or sports bra, underwear. We we have embarrassing pictures. I mean, you've got like side by side. You tried to take one yesterday, and she's like, I'm gonna take a picture of you. I'm like, uh, please don't, because I feel like really bloated right now. But take pictures. 
measure your success that way. Stay off the scale. Mm -hmm. Because here's the thing, when you get frustrated or depressed or in a bad mood because that scale number isn't moving the way that you want to, what are you gonna do? Right. Quit? Right. Quit, quit focusing on your goals. You don't wanna do that. And I'm telling you, getting on the scale is an obstacle to your success. It mm -hmm. really is. I know that sounds crazy, but it is. Yeah. So what are your goals for the year? Do you have any goals set for the year? I do. I have a very strange one, first of all. Okay. Let's just have one. Huh? Let's just have one. No, no, no. I've got two. Oh, you've got two. Okay. I got two. Okay. My first one is in October, I'm getting in a Wonder Woman costume. <laughs> That's happening. Okay. Not a, not a hoodie, a legitimate Wonder Woman costume. I don't know what all I'm going to have to do to make that happen, but like it's happening. Mm -hmm. I can do this and I don't care that I'm 44 years old. And we'll be 45 years old by the time I do that. Like, I'm doing it, okay? okay? Number two is I am moving every single day. That That is my goal. In 2021, I'm going to take my good health and enjoy my good health. Because I think a lot of times, you know, we lose the weight. We start experiencing better health. And we're, we feel good but we're enjoying it on the couch. Right. I'm enjoying it sitting in my bed watching a movie. I need to to get this show on the road. Right. Is my desire for 2021. What about you? Um, okay, so I have two goals. And Wonder I'm curious. Woman? No, not a Wonder oh, okay. Woman. I'm just checking. I'm curious. Let us know down in the comments. What are your goals for 2021? Did I say 2020 before? I feel like I may have. 2020 Maybe. is just like knocked in my brain. But tw we want to forget 2020. It's right? going to be a while. 2021. What are your goals? So for me, one goal, like re with regards to the channel, mm -hmm. I have a goal of a... I want to get more consistent with what we do. Like we always say, we are consistently inconsistent. You're going to get five videos a week, but one week you may get one on Monday, one on Tuesday, and then nothing until our live stream, and right. then nothing until Sunday. And another week you may get seven. I want to get consistent okay. with our channel. Mm -hmm. And also, I want to get back in the kitchen. We have been working on recipes. We've been putting things together. We have things that we kind of were making when we first got started on keto, even before like doing like our channel, we had them all written down and Rachel's been releasing them on Instagram. I want to get all of those things onto video yeah, because a lot of them are super simple and also onto our website because instead of just having them written down because somebody was smart enough to write stuff down instead of just like having a computer organization, which I didn't use. Right. But I, I want to do that. Well, I think it's very important to have a lot of recipes. Right. You know, because I think that one of the biggest obstacles, I don't know why, because there's so much delicious meat and cheeses and nuts and vegetables and things to eat in this keto lifestyle. But I hear a lot that people are like, what else? Right. What else can I make? What is new? What is easy? What can, What's fast? What can I do if I've thought something out? What can I do if I haven't defrosted anything? Like, what can I do? And right. so we are trying to release a new easy recipe every single day of the week right. on Instagram. So yep. check that out. Make sure you go follow us on Instagram. And we're going to be coming out in this coming month with a bunch of ones that you can even do in the microwave. Because yeah. I don't know how much simpler we could make it than that, right? Yeah. Now with regards to my health, I'm like you. I want to get moving more. Who knows what 2020 is going to hold? Like I know we're getting ready to register for lacrosse season, but I don't know what lacrosse season is going to look like. I do know that in 2020, I stopped moving because there wasn't like all of the sports officiating that I'm used to. Yeah. I am up a few pounds. I think most of us are, but I need to get moving again. And one of the things I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing some stuff with Bronson, trying to get myself, you know, so I look at that guy. That guy is the same age. If you are not following Bronson over on Instagram, you need yes. to go follow him. And he's the same age as me. And looks fantastic. It makes me be like, what are you doing? Like, how does that guy the same age as me? Well, don't he looks like he's 20. Uh, well, he does. But don't compare yourself. Just get in the game. Yeah. Use it as something to to challenge you to do better and be your best self. So that's my goal. My goal is to get him. moving this year. I, yeah. I need to get moving. So do you want to get into some comments and stuff? Yes, please. Let's take a quick commercial break and then we can come back with our comments, our subscriber of the week and all that good stuff. Can't wait. Guess what?
What? It's not 2020 anymore. No. <laughs> We've moved on. Can we just celebrate that for a second? I th yes. Yes. It's not 2020 anymore. It's not 2020. I do want to say before we get into our subscriber of the week and our keto college adjunct professor of the week, um, this week's flavor of the week for keto chow is cookies and cream, which is super oh. versatile if you want to add in flavorings and things like that. Wow. Thank you. I freaking love that flavor. It is so good. It is really good. Now, again, really every week is everything is flavor of the week because if you use our link down below, that's going to give you 10% off and you can't stack it on top. But, but it's nice it to know what it, it is. It brings it to the forefront of my mind because right. I will that's be- That's why I like it. Because I love- Routine. Yep. So I will be chocolate toffee and just push that button until it never ends, you right. know? So yeah, cookies and cream. Yeah. I love that one. So let's get into the Keto College Adjunct Professor of the Week. I don't know how we came up with such a long name for this, School but we is did. back in session. Uh, so this is somebody who put a post up, which was super inspirational to me and maybe other people in the Facebook group. Certainly. And uh, we actually have a repeat professor this week. Okay. Second second time she's a guest professor and it is Stephanie. Hey Stephanie. And Stephanie said, I saw this on another group and this picture speak this picture speaks all of the truth. So for those of you that wait constantly and then get frustrated, really focus on what the left side is saying and stop trusting the scale and trust the fit of your clothes, the measurement and the pictures. And I felt like this was just for me because take a look at this. Wow. So it says, how much can your weight change in a day? Fluid you gain every day. 9.7 cups from eating and drinking. 0.85 cups from your body metabolizing nutrients. And then fluids you lose. And it adds up to five and a half pounds of weight fluctuation per day. And I'll give you an example. Before we went away for camping, I got on the scale because I wanted to know, okay, where am I going to the camping with? And I remember I was 201 pounds, which is about 15 pounds, 16 pounds higher than what my normal weight was pre-COVID. Right. When we left, that was the night before. When we left in the morning, I was up six pounds. I had not eaten. I had not even had a glass of water. Wow. So how did I gain six pounds? So do me a favor. Do yourself a favor. Don't wait. And stay off the scale. Stay off the because scale. Because it's going to piss you off. It really will. It will <laughs> upset you. It will totally upset you. I like my word better. I know. But the thing is, is that not only will it upset you, but let's say... You start sticking with this keto. You're just doing the right thing. You're right. eating the right things in the right amount at the right time. All of these things. You're you're behaving yourself. Right. You're acting unrachel like during Christmas, basically. Yeah. Right. You're just <laughs> doing the right thing. Things are happening. You get on that scale. You already know you're doing the right thing. And so let's say you go down. Let's say you get on the scale today, and all of a sudden, it's 25 pounds down. You, you know, know what I'm doing? I'm celebrating. With some keto ice cream. Exactly. You're going to reward. Oh, you shouldn't do that? No, you shouldn't do that. You're <laughs> going. That's what my problem is. It's allowing is. yourself to have some leeway to go back up, right? Because at the end of the day, we're addicts. I, I will absolutely say that I have done that. So even over the last four months, I get on the scale and I'm back down to like 195 and I'm like, ooh. I can afford to have a few extra keto things today. Maybe I can have, instead of an ounce of cheese, I'm gonna have like four ounces of cheese. Maybe today, because I'm down those few pounds, I can have an extra keto coffee. Nothing bad, nothing off of keto. Maybe but just plan. a little bit more. Maybe I can have a off third goal. meal, something like that. Gonna go hobbit. And the next thing I know, I was back up over Fit 200. Fit breakfast. Because I, as much as that scale, like you said, it, it's, it's great when you see it down, but for me, when it's down, it gives me a license to not do the right thing, even if it's for a day. The scale is the devil. It That's is right. either hurting your feelings or it is sitting on your shoulder like the devil going like, I think you could get away with a little bit more bad behavior. Yeah. I think you could do it. Just, just let's try. Yeah. So thank you very much for that post, Stephanie. I know that you had found it on another group and it's from a magazine article. Yeah. But it was truly needed today yes um, what for us is january 2nd for you guys is january 4th as everybody gets started whether you're doing keto whether you're doing a standard american diet or you're doing weight watchers everybody needs to see that stay off 
the scale. Please. Okay, next we have our subscriber of the week. And uh, this one is from Trisha. I'll go ahead and Trisha. read this one. It says, I woke up exhausted on January 1st, 2019 and said it was time to change. I let my life get away from me. All my life, I was always bigger, but the weight kept on piling on. Looking back, the signs were all there. I was depressed. Dealing with a new marriage with a blended family is hard. Yep. A new husband and who had to have spinal surgery, and so you have to become the caregiver, caregiver and the financial problems. Enough was enough. I took back my life and put myself first. Good. Two years later, 100 pounds wow. down, 10 sizes down, and a love of myself again. Wow. Finding keto helped me realize food is fuel before I was a comfort eater. Yep. I started slow, focused on my food, then started walking and finally running with the gym sprinkled in. I am in better shape now at 35 than I was as a high school athlete. My kids have a mom who wants to go out and do things with them, and my husband has a wife who will be alive to take care of him. And most importantly, I have found out who I want to be. Healthy. Wow. Oh my gracious, hottie patati. Look at that. Oh my gracious. Is that awesome? Yeah, you seriously look like you're in your 20s now. Yeah. I mean, I, and again, another perfect inspirational post for this time of the year. It took her a couple of years. She looks incredible. And again, Going back to the scale, I hate to keep bringing it up, but we're going to bring it up probably several times today. Sorry. But here's the thing. She has improved energy. Yep. She's able to be a better mom. She's able to be a better husband. If you don't lose a pound, but you have all of those other benefits. It's worth it. Isn't it worth it? It's totally worth it. And putting yourself first is important. Mm -hmm. It is okay if you're the only person in your home that is deciding to do things differently this year. If everybody around you is like, no, I'm not interested in doing this keto thing, that's okay for you to go on without them. So I have to make a confession here. So the first time we decided to lose weight. Rachel started before me, about three or four months before me. Now this is going back years ago, and she did it by sitting in the bathtub and cutting her calories down to 400. And I remember going to her, what are you doing? You don't need to lose weight. I love you just the way you are. And her comment to me was, I have to do this for me. Yeah. Whether he was ready to do something differently. And, and that's the thing, I went back to my old, sad, standard American diet mentality, which is you've got to just cut your calories down to nothing. You need to be eating barely anything. But I just knew I needed to do something. Right. I'm so glad that we have found keto yep. so that I can have a good relationship with food and I don't have to starve myself in order to maintain a healthy weight. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. Joe was not ready and that was okay That's because right. I was tired or sick and tired of being <laughs> sick and tired. Right, right. And I'm glad I jumped on board with her at that a couple months later and then we became an admission that we needed to stay healthy and get healthier and then we found keto a couple of years later. But I wasn't like all into her losing weight, but I'm glad that she said, I've got to put me first because it started us on this journey back then. Well, and just remember there... You know, some people may not be discouraging you from getting into keto by saying mean things. Right. Joe was not saying a mean thing. Right. He was being like an enabler, <laughs> but like he wasn't saying mean things. He wasn't like, man, you know, you're right. never going to be successful. Like, I don't think you're ever going to lose weight. He wasn't saying that. Right. He was saying, baby, I love you just I like I didn't you want are. her to be upset and like punishing herself with eating 400 calories a day. So don't take the bait right. with that either. Like, right. yes, you know. They love you just the way that you are. That's good. Right. On the inside of me, the person that is never going to be different, I'm still the crazy lady that I was, you know, 100 plus pounds ago. Right. But um, I'm able to do more. Right. That's what. I want to be the fullness of everything that Rachel can be. And Rachel can move. And Rachel is healthy. And I'm not sick all the time. I don't have terrible headaches all the time. Like, I want to be the best Rachel. Right. So. Yeah. yeah. So. If you're curious where our subscriber of the week comes from, it does come from our Facebook family group. So if you're not a member of that, make sure you go join that. There are, I don't even know how many people, over 3,000 people like in 3. there Like 3.8 thousand. And it's completely free. And there's people in there who are 
like encouraging you, sharing recipes, sharing deals, just there when you need somebody. We also have a free Discord server. Uh, there's a link down below and there's people in there. If you need some immediate help, you need somebody to, hey, talk me off of the ledge of eating this piece of chocolate cake, go jump on our Discord because there's almost always somebody in there chatting. And again, it's all free and share your story. Yeah, well, and that's the thing because a lot of times if you're signing up for a new program, let's say you're going into Jenny Craig or you're doing Weight Watchers or you're doing Nutrisystem, a lot of times the reason why we sign up for those plans and we've signed up for all of them mm -hmm. is you want accountability. Right. You're really paying for the accountability because I can look up Weight Watchers, you know, menus that's right. online. I can look and see what, I can go and find Lean Cuisines in the supermarket. I don't I don't need to have, you know, to join a club for that. What I'm joining the club for and paying for is accountability and some coaching. Well, it's free. Right. I mean, go in the Two Crazy Ketos family group. There are people who have lost more than 100 pounds. Yeah. They can help you along the way too. And if you're like having a bad day, go jump in the Discord. Right. Absolutely. Yeah, there are, pe there are people in our Facebook group who've had more success than we have. Absolutely. And that's what I love about it. So again, go in there, share your story. We don't ask you to share your story because we need content. We want it because your story is going to impact somebody. Somebody's going to read your story and be like, I can do this too. Yeah. So that's why we ask you to do that. But yeah, take advantage of all of the different things within the Two Crazy Ketos family. You ready to get into comments? Yes, please. Okay. So our first comment from YouTube is from Shanta. Hey, Shanta. She says, I wish I was in the area. I would love to have a Rachel hug. I would love to have a Shanta hug. <laughs> I want all the hugs. That, that I think... Man, there was so much that super sucked about right. 2020, but that was up there on like the top of the suck meter was yeah. like social distancing. Yeah. I don't, it's really hard. It is. I, I like know. meeting new people and it doesn't take me very long that I want to hug that person. I am really missing the get togethers. I'm missing like the keto conferences. We're still kind of crossing our fingers, praying, hoping that the crews yeah. Um, in May happens. We um, don't know. I'm starting to have my doubts considering the fact that they still haven't announced when they're going to start cruising and they have announced that even when they do start cruising, they're not going to be having all of the cruises they normally do. But I'm still holding out my hopes because I just want to hang out with some of you guys and we really miss that. We do. So uh, let's get to the next one. It is from Kristen. Hey, Kristen. She said, OMG, I'm not needing something to taste the same is such a helpful tip. That came from Gail last week. She uh -oh. said, I cannot seem to stay on track uh, by my sweet tooth. It's challenging, definitely. Mm -hmm. I am someone who likes things super sweet. Like Joe will taste something and be like, boy, this is too sweet. And I'm like, right. really? I feel like we're just getting started. Right. So um, part of the January, my January focus, I do drink coffee for his safety and the safety of my children, um, black coffee, but I, you know, I don't put anything in it. And, and this is good. Right. It's a good time for me to be just drinking water, drinking some electrolytes and, and drinking black coffee to kind of rein in that sweet tooth that I've had. Cause you know, in December, I mean, we even had the chalk zero calendar, which I absolutely loved, but every single day of the month I had chocolate right. every single day. So I have to kind of wean myself off of that because it gets about two o'clock and I'm like, well, we're, <laughs> where's my chocolate? Right. You know, well, you don't have to have chocolate every single day. Yeah, I know that probably the best way to lower the sweet tooth is the hardest way, and that is to kind of go cold turkey, especially if you're just getting started. We always tell people, if you're just getting started on keto, for the first couple weeks at least, try to avoid all alternative sweeteners, like the stevias, the, you know, the erythritol, the allulose, the monk fruit. Try to skip all of it for the first two weeks because you're dealing with that sweet tooth and you don't want to bring it over. What I have found with myself is I I can do well mm -hmm. and so long as I'm not having something that's super sweet. But then when I do start having like a little bit too much chalk zero or too much ice cream or, you know, indulging a little bit more in keto friendly sweeteners, I start wanting to up the ante a little bit more. So then I have to kind of rein it back in and go cold turkey for a week or two. And then I'm kind of back to normal. But it is a difficult thing, especially if you're like me and you're a coffee drinker and I cannot drink coffee black. I mean, Rachel can do it, I can't. So what I do is I no longer put any kind of sweetener in my coffee. Instead, I'll like use 
a scoop of perfect keto collagen or a scoop of perfect keto MCT where it's got a little bit of stevia, but it's not that like sugar, like fiend thing that I was used to. Yeah. Okay, so next one is from Queen Shelly Hughes. Hey, Queen Shelly. She says, we went to the Tampa show in 1999. Huge. You'll get lost all the time. Bring lots of money. So if you don't know, we recently bought an RV and we started another channel. It's called Two Crazy Campers. I'll leave a link for that right up over Rachel's head because we discovered we like camping after losing all that weight. I mean, mm -hmm. we always liked camping, but... Now we like glamping. It's way better now, and it's a good opportunity for us to just spend time together. And like recently, we spent time with the boys. And again, we're learning what to do with this new health and these new bodies. Right. Like, what do we do? Let's let's move them. And we're finding that a lot of people don't know what to do. We we are only good at losing weight and gaining weight and losing weight and gaining weight. So the fact that we've maintained success and had good health, okay. Yeah. We can venture out a little further than the front door and like start enjoying this life. Yeah. So over on that channel, we actually we're doing like installations of things for your RV. We're starting to do some vlogs. We're doing campground reviews, just us having a good time, but not to like make you guys watch all that right. on this channel. The cool thing is, is we're starting to meet people in, as we're RVing who are just getting started on keto or question. I just met somebody this past week and you know, they're like, Hey, can you tell me more about the keto? So we're hoping that as we're camping, we can bring some of those people who are in the camping world over to the dark side <laughs> and, and the get them side. into getting on top of their health. Because again, one of the problems with RVing is you can tend to eat some maybe unhealthy foods, like lots of marshmallows and that kind of stuff. Or so. not not leave your campsite. Right. Just stay in your beautiful rig and not go anywhere. Yeah. So next week actually is it next it's already next week where it's in about 13th the 13th we're headed to the florida super show rv show it's in tampa it starts on whatever that wednesday is i think it's the 13th we will be there the whole time from wednesday through sunday we're going to be camping at the rally which is in the fairgrounds yes and so if you're in the florida area you want to come hang out with us come play uno with us come hang out with us yeah i, I don't know if they're going to be allowed into the rally point they might be able to but we will definitely be walking around the super show and maybe we can find another rig no <laughs> I'm, I'm going to have to to handcuff you to me. We, we have to leave our money at home then. Like, yes. I have to not take Shelly's advice. Yeah. We actually love our rig, but maybe I can find cool gadgets. Maybe that would be the thing. I love gadgets. Spend that money. <laughs> okay, next one is from Carly's Mama. Hey, Carly's Mama. She said, OMG, this is the most adult Rachel has looked in a long time. I'm so not used to this. <laughs> Blessings to you two. Your neighborhood was doing like a teddy bear geocaching for kiddos. That genius. That is very true. That's kind of like what it was. It was a scavenger hunt, but yeah, yeah. like we, we we left you a little prize. Can you find it in our yard? And I think she must be referring to my button down shirt from Keto on the Couch. And then I had like a cardigan on because I am lately all about the pockets. I don't know what is going on. But I guess because the phones just keep getting bigger and bigger that I just want to put it in my my pocket in my cardigan. That's one of the things I love about hoodies because they get that center pocket. I need a pocket. I like pockets. I can't stand it when I happen to have a pair of basketball shorts and there's no pockets. It's I can't like put the it, most irritating thing. I can't put it anymore in the back pocket of my jeans. My butt is getting like this big with the phone. And also I'm always like petrified. I'm going to like sit down and like push that phone out. Into the toilet. You mean. Or the floor or anywhere. Speaking of geocaching, we actually went and did geocaching while we were camping with the boys. It was Anthony so fun. Anthony found the very first one. I got news for you. It's about to be a date this week. Is it? Yes. I, we had a lot of fun doing it. It was, there was one that we couldn't find and everyone was like, yeah, I'm not going in there because like we, we found the coordinates and it's like in here. Yeah. And Anthony's like, there are snakes in there because wherever they not... put it, it was like tall weeds. I started to venture in and then I started getting those little pricker the, the, sticking we things. Call, we call them hitchhikers. Yes. Because, the, but they're like, they hurt, you know, the ones that like stick to you. Right. And um, yeah, it was like, if you hide something inside of a hornet's nest, like I'm not reaching in there just so that I can get the credit. And I'm a person that loves to like check off a list, but like, no. And then we were at the spring 
and Anthony was driving, diving way down into the cave and he wanted to put a geocache. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't even know if I'm pronouncing this right. I'm assuming. Cache? That, right. He wanted to put one down inside of the spring and make somebody dive way down in the water to find it. All you could hear was me screaming through my mask, like, come up, come up, because like, I, you know, mom panic. <laughs> okay, next one is from T Tana. I think it's Tanya. Tanya. Okay. Tanya Fuentes. She said, glad I caught this last one. Laughed so hard during Rachel's creepy floating bear head present opening with the family. Priceless. I am really excited to get my Keto Chow Reset Bundle for the new year. I've been wanting to try Drop Biscuit Recipe, but now I'm intrigued about that pumpkin soup. Wow. Rachel and Joe, how can I ever share my profound gratitude for what you do as Two Crazy Ketos? Virtual bear hugs, of course. Oh my God. Tanya well thank you so much like gosh that like that I felt that bear hug like thank you um yeah I'm excited that you're doing um the keto chow reset and I think you're gonna love the drop biscuits but oh my oh my oh my oh my From that oh pumpkin. hello the pumpkin soup. Yeah. I didn't taste any pumpkin, to be honest. Yeah, and it had a whole can. I actually didn't even use a whole can. I used like three quarters of a can. It I cut was it down on the recipe for the carbs. Amazing. So what? how did you change it? All I did was, if you follow that recipe, I'll leave a link for it down below. Um, they even say you can cut out, like it calls for canned tomatoes. I only used a half of a can of tomatoes. Okay. Um, I only used like a half to three quarters of a can of the pumpkin. All right. And there was something else that I kind of cut back. Oh, I cut the onions. I cut the onions That's in half. It. But, and it's all because of the carbs. But it wasn't missing anything. Yeah, it didn't taste like it was missing anything. No. I just wanted to cut down on the carbs a little bit. But here's the thing. And it, I don't remember how many servings it says it has, right? I want to say it says like 10 servings. And again, I'm thinking off the top of my head. I don't have it in front of me. And I remember thinking, there's no way you're going to get 10 servings out of this. Like, I'm, I'm a soup person. Like, I... I want a vat of soup. It made a vat. Right? And honestly, it filled you up. Like you had a cup, like literally like this much. And you're like, I can't have another bite. It actually had 10, probably more than 10 servings. I absolutely loved it. I, I'm. We didn't have cauliflower rice, but I'm thinking pour some that over some cauliflower rice. Yeah. I mean, for the absolute win, but it was great. Crazy delicious. It we need to really good. I'm sad that we waited so long to try that. Yeah, it's really good. Okay, so next one is from Pat. Hey Pat. She says, Oh my goodness, my heart melted seeing you all snuggled up with Anthony and hearing Caleb laugh so hard. He was in so much trouble. I mean, I was glad that he hadn't bought me something expensive, but oh my goodness, he he really carried that like he prank did. to I, the end. I was sitting there on the couch going, I'm gonna kill this kid if he got her something better than I did. Right. What's in there at this point? I'm thinking, like, is there like a diamond ring? Like what what did he do? Did he spend his college book money on me? Like, I was so upset. Okay, next one is from Christopher. Hey, Christopher. He said, for the family edition of Fear Factor, I hope there is a love good fats bar oh, in wow. there. Oh, wow. That'd be a bad spin. We should have put one in that there. That would have been hysterical. We did actually film the Keto, uh, Keto Camping Fear Factor episode 10. That'll be coming out towards the middle of the month. We actually have number nine that still has to get released. But... It was a lot of fun, but yeah, Anthony doesn't like those love good fat bars either. I just do not like, I know some people, some people like them, I just don't like them. Well, we're probably going to be, for the month of January, pulling Caleb into the Keto Crate review, probably the Keto Box, yeah, um, so that they can eat the things for us. So like, fingers crossed, there's one of those bars in there and they'll still get to taste it. Yeah. Uh, next one is from Gail. Hey, Gail. She says, I definitely can relate to the frustration that Angina has about the glucose in the mornings. I take my glucose readings every day in the morning. My normal range is between the mid 80s and 90s. Occasionally, if it is over 100, I have a fit. I know I have the dawn effect and very poor sleep. I just recently viewed a video with Dr. Eric Westman and Amy Berger, and they addressed that very thing. Their response was the same. Don't worry about it. I guess I feel better about it, but those readings still can mess with my head sometimes. After all, my diagnosis of being pre-diabetic is why I went keto four years ago. Now I just wish I could biohack my cholesterol readings to keep the doctors from trying to force me to take a statin. Yeah, it is really frustrating when you see those numbers, but 
Yeah, there's so many things you have to worry about. Again, and one of the worst things you can really do is taking your blood sugar ratings first thing in the morning because you are dealing with that dawn phenomenon. That's when it's gonna be at the highest. But it is frustrating. But again, like we said last week, you have to just try to not worry about it. If you're eating right, don't worry about it too much. And as far as your cholesterol, Again, we're not doctors, we're not nurses or lawyers or anything professional, really. Clearly. But um, I wouldn't worry about that as well. What you wanna worry about is your triglycerides. And hopefully, eventually you'll be able to find like a good keto-friendly doctor who understands that. I think there's more and more and more of them out there now. It's so. very hopeful. Okay, next up is from Carla. Hey Carla, she says, every time that you mention Heath and Meaty Monday, I say a prayer for our oldest son who has primary progressive MS that I could convince him to start keto. Because of certain circumstances, our son has moved home and my prayers have been answered. He agreed to start keto. Please include him in your prayers that it will help him and that he will stay on it. Absolutely. Absolutely, we will keep him in our prayers. Now, if you don't know what she's talking about, one of our longtime subscribers, Heath, um, actually has MS and he is huge into carnivores. We've kind of declared Mondays are meaty Monday. And we ask you go on Facebook, go on Instagram, take pictures of your food, try to keep it as carnivore as possible and just post it with hashtag meaty Monday so that we can kind of join in with Heath and also just bring to everybody's awareness the fact that keto can help with so many medical conditions, including MS. But when I saw that, I was just like so excited that doing that little thing for Heath is now impacting other people. And I know that right now that is making Heath smile. Yeah, absolutely. Because his heart really is for people too. So do not be afraid to reach out to Heath. I don't think I'm talking out of turn. Um, to, to say, reach out to Heath. If your son just needs to know that he's not alone in this, Heath would be happy to answer any questions that he has and just, you know, have a buddy in this. Yeah. Now, as far as the month of January for Meaty Monday, what I'm going to do, since I'm only doing keto chows, on those Mondays, I'm either going to fast or I'm going to have only the savory chicken soup or the beef base, maybe adding in a bunch of extra salt That'll and stuff like work. that. So I'm still gonna try to keep it as carnivore as possible. And actually most of the ingredients that are in those are pretty carnivore. Yeah. And I'm gonna use butter, of course. Or I may even make it with that bacon grease that bacon somebody sent us. Bacon grease. So that yes. stuff, I think that may make a really good keto chow. I think it's time to bacon up. Yeah. So. Guess what? What? Still not 2020. Okay. It's over. Ah, it's not That year is over. <laughs> okay, let's get into our Facebook family group uh, questions. And this one is from Cheryl. Hey, Cheryl. She said, what are some reasons other than weight loss that you eat keto? I love this. It was very ex inspiring uh -huh. to, to receive this comment. And it's actually challenged me to go on to Instagram and also Twitter and Facebook. And every single day I am releasing one of 31 reasons why I am enjoying this keto lifestyle, why I do it, why I'm, I'm sticking to my goals for 2021. I'm giving you a why. 31 different reasons why. So make sure you go head over and follow us on Instagram, follow us on Facebook and on Twitter, uh, join the Facebook family group. And also while I'm thinking about that, make sure you're subscribed to this channel and you're hitting that like button and also sharing it. That's how we're gonna grow. But here's what I wanna know. We're on right now. Yep. So I need one reason right now. One reason other than losing weight, why are you doing keto right now? Well, today's reason is actually my grandmother, Alma. Okay. Wonderful lady, amazing friend, great mother, great grandmother, great teacher. Um, but she, I watched her lose all of her memories to Alzheimer's and finally pass away from complications to that. And I... I hated that Alzheimer's robbed her of the memories that she had made. And it does run in my family. Actually, several of her sisters also suffered with this as well. And, you know, I, I make it clear on my Instagram, I do not believe that keto is my Lord and Savior. That's Jesus, okay? Right. But I am going to do everything that I can do to to put my best foot forward. Mm -hmm. And preliminary research does show that it slows the signs and symptoms of Alzheimer's. Right. That this keto, this low carb, this keto lifestyle, it actually helps fight against Alzheimer's. And I want to end this life with my memories intact. That's yeah. my goal. Now for me, one reason, there's a lot of reasons, but one reason is for cancer. Yep. Um, my mother, as a retired oncologist, my mother had um, colon cancer. My father actually passed away from brain cancer. 
And again, we're not doctors or nurses or anything like that, but a lot of research shows that eating a keto lifestyle could help either slow or even get rid of cancer, especially because cancer feeds off of sugar. Yeah. So if you're not giving your body you're starving the sugar, it. it's a little bit harder for it to grow. So again, like Rachel said, I want to do everything I can to keep my health intact. And if one way I can do that is by eating keto and not giving myself all those sugars to maybe make it that much harder for cancer to grow, I'm going to do it. Yeah, it's worth it. Okay, so next one is from Lisa. Hey, Lisa. She says, dinner turned out great. Chicken gizzards in keto gravy cooked low and slow with some mushrooms and onions for eight hours. And the gizzards came out so tender, super yummy, and filled my cravings for gizzards. Okay, so first of all, I need that recipe. Okay, we need that recipe. We need to try it. Maybe even put it up onto Two Crazy Ketos, like do a video of doing it. Plus, it would be a really good thing for like a cooked version of Keto Fear Factor because Rachel never liked gizzards. Well, and it's a texture thing, which right. I think that this recipe could help to provide a solution for. Yeah, because we only ever have fried ones. Yeah, and I mean, they're, they're, they've got a disconcerting like mouthfeel to me. <laughs> So something magical happens when you cook something low and slow. Right. It kind of breaks down that like formidable texture. That's one of the things that's nice about keto though is that you start trying new foods. And again, so long as you can get past the texture. Texture is huge for me. There's been a lot of foods even in our fear factor where I like the taste, but like the texture is just, just off. I can't handle. One of them being those Vienna sausages. Yep, every time. Okay, next one is from Paula. Hey, Paula. She said, my sweet husband usually just lets me get my own presents for Christmas, but this year he wanted to do some. Aww. He got me a pair of jeans I've been wanting and put a note on them. It said, yes, I know what size you told me to get, but I know this smaller size is going to fit you by the time you wow. open them. And yes, the smaller size he bought fit with no struggle. I'm extremely blessed to have such a supportive husband who believes in me and my health journey. I think I'll keep him. Okay, so definitely some lovin's for that husband. Like that is so, so cute. What a romantic and encouraging cheerleader you've got there, right? Mm. I mean, I know you can do this. I believe in you. Like I love that. So yeah, he needs some kisses. Now, if you don't have somebody in your life that can help encourage you like that. You got us. It's okay, because you have us, you have our Facebook family group. So once again, we're gonna remind you, go join the Facebook family group. Don't do this alone. Go on to our Discord, and yeah, don't do this alone. Okay, next one is from Carol. Hey Carol, she says, is there an app or something that I can use to determine what is keto? Okay, so we just did a video of that. If you haven't seen that, I'm gonna leave a link right there. Right? Joe feels very strongly. I, I have a very strong opinion on this matter. There is no such thing as a keto food. Okay. There's no such thing as a keto food. You have keto friendly foods, foods that will help or hinder your keto journey, but there's no such thing as a keto food. A lot of times I cringe when I see foods that actually have the name keto in it. And it's one of the reasons like we kind of tease Chris with Keto chow. Right. right. And he talks about like why the name came about and stuff like that. Or when you see the name keto in a product. Take a look at those ingredients. Really scrutinize the ingredients. Scrutinize the ingredients even more. Now it so happens with keto chow or perfect keto. And there's a few others. Usually keto bars. Usually they're products that came from somebody within the community who developed them for themselves. Keto like brick. keto brick. And that's a little bit different. But when you start going into the grocery store and Costco and things like that and seeing products that say keto friendly or keto approved, scrutinize those ingredients. I can't tell you how many times I've gone into Costco and I see products like coconut clusters, keto friendly, and the third ingredient's like cane sugar. Right. And that's not really for anybody's diet. So you're right. like, well, is sugar keto? Sugar's nobody. Right. Can canola oil is nobody. Right. Right? Sunflower oil is nobody. And if you confuse like, okay, technically you say to yourself, well, that's oil is keto. Mm -hmm. You're going to start feeling bad. Right. So maybe you're eating the right foods, but when it's cooked in those oils, you're still going to experience inflammation, which your keto diet is trying to eradicate. Right. So don't reintroduce it into your life. And I think honestly, if you're just getting started, your best bet is shopping the outer aisle of the grocery store and keeping it as whole of a food product as possible. Yeah. So go through the grocery store, you know, 
If you really wanna know what product, what ingredients you wanna avoid, any kind of sugar, and there are lots of names for sugar. So any of the sugars other than things like erythritol and that kind, and even if you're getting started, I would even avoid that stuff. Yeah. But you wanna avoid like sorbitol, maltitol, anything that's got wheat in it. You really wanna avoid those wheat products. Now, when it comes to sugar, sometimes you're gonna see bacon has sugar in it or maybe lunch meat. For curing. Look at how much is in there. Yeah. If it's like less than a gram, I don't usually worry about it if it's something like bacon because they're using it for the curing process. But like like candies or snacks and if they have sugar in them, I run away from those. Run away from the wheat products. Again, it's going to cause inflammation. Out, outer aisle, go have all the fruits you want. Stay away from uh, all the vegetables you want. I was like, wait, what? Um, stay away from things like potatoes and rice because they're really starchy. And I'm going to tell you, and this is going to be a little bit, I don't know, upset people, con controversial. I would stay away from all fruits with the exception of avocados and tomatoes. I would, I would stay away from berries. I know some people say you can have berries. It's a slippery slope. Can you eat two berries? Especially when you get into strawberries. Can you eat two berries? I know, right? I mean, I even am very careful with nuts because as Christmas season just proved... I am nuts about nuts, and oh, yeah. I can't just eat a serving size of nuts. I think it's very difficult for me to also eat a serving size of berries. And maybe that's not your your hang up. Maybe that's not something that you have a problem with, but I would check yourself before you wreck yourself and just make sure that you can handle a serving size. Yeah, to me, if you're gonna have berries, like blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, um, even maybe a little bit of strawberries. The only way them. I would have them is including them in a recipe. Maybe making keto pancakes and putting a couple of blueberries. Yeah. But just sitting down and eating a couple of blueberries, you're not going to be satisfied by that serving. And the next thing you know, you're going to have two or three or four servings. The carbs are going to be off the off the charts. You're going to be getting sugar and you're going down a slippery slope. So well, I would personally stay away from, with the exception of having them in a recipe. And they come in that basket that is very easy to open. And I can do so many drive-bys, the refrigerator, if I've got berries in the house. Like, let me just tell you, I, I can absolutely like flip that lid and they just start to vanish. Yep. And nobody knows, including me. I'm the same way with nuts. What happened? Right? I can eat a whole bag of nuts in a day, but only eating one nut at a time. Drive-by. Yeah. Uh, next one is from Barb. Hey, Barb. And uh, this was a really good one, but it's a little long, so I have it here. I wanted to read this one. She said, I really need some encouragement today. I just came from my doctor's, having lost a whopping 26 pounds since starting keto 17 months ago. My second time on the scale since starting. I'm proud of you. The only time of cheating was a half a piece of wedding cake at our son's wedding two weeks ago. Meanwhile, my husband has lost probably 40 to, five, 40 to 50 pounds and has had numerous cheat times. I know, don't compare. But I'm so frustrated and discouraged and I feel like, why bother? I only use butter and avocado oil once a week, keto treats, except for Christmas. I keep my carbs under 20 grams and totals are definitely under 40 on treat days. Moderate maybe on dairy. I'm thinking my next step is carnivore, which won't be much of a problem as I love my meat and the veggies I pretty much can take or leave, except my friends who freaked out when I did carnivore for five days to <laughs> reset my body and mind. I'm 58, so no spring chicken. I've seen results such as no more depression or anxiety or GERD. I'm off all medications for wow. both. My plantar fasciitis, improved pain from fibromyalgia and chronic migraines. So I guess my body still has a lot more of healing to do. Still have pain from arthritis, praying for the day that it's gone and for the day the weight comes off too. I have 40 to 50 pounds to go. I'm so grateful for the progress that I have seen, but it seems slow. Okay, first of all, I've got to hide myself from the like swing that's about to come from Rachel because I did this to her. I totally get this, Barb, because it is frustrating. It Guys just seem to dump weight no matter what. I don't know why. I don't know why it is. I don't see, like, the, you know, Joe's not, like, being a lumberjack, and so he's doing so much more physical work than me that that, that should be the case. Like, they just, I feel like they just get away from stuff. And I and I don't think that you guys retain as much water as we do. I know you're we're complaining that you, you have a lot of water retention in certain times of, you know, the year. But, like, oh, my Lord, I can be 10 pounds difference every single day. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's so much water retention and I feel like we can eat the same meal and I 
can be swollen the right. next day with water retention and you won't be. So I totally get the frustration, but I want to reach into the the middle that I would that I would say is, is almost like you're I'm only experiencing this and say like, "Oh my gosh." Right. Like I can really track with you on a lot of the things that you have. Like for once is the depression. I had crippling depression and I am so glad that, that I mean that is definitely going to be in one of my 31 days, like 31 reasons why not having that depression, not having the plantar fasciitis and the pain of taking every single step, like having a jagged razor in your heel, mm -hmm. having to do cortisone shots, all of the medicine that you're no longer taking, like that is such a victory. I get it. We have been so cruel to our bodies for so long that, yeah, it's probably going to be slow before you see all of these things reversed. But man, girl, you are doing awesome. You mm -hmm. look fantastic. And just keep going. And and don't worry about these jokers. Now, I do want to say something here. Because we said it earlier, and Rachel just touched on it. But again, if you never lose another pound, yeah. but all of those medical problems go away, Wow. who cares? Yeah. Also with the scale, yes, we say the scale is the devil and it, it, it can hurt you. It almost always hurts you. Either it hurts you in a positive way or it hurts you in a negative way. But right. One, it's always hurting you. But here's the thing. You just said, and I'm proud of you because I can't do that, that she only got on the scale twice. That is like next level goals. What if that time that you got on the scale at the doctor's office happened to be one of the days where you were up 10 pounds because you were retaining water because you had not enough salt or too much salt the night before. Go buy your clothes, go buy how you're feeling, and don't worry about anything else. And also don't beat us up if we lose more weight than you do. No promises on that, sir. <laughs> okay, uh, next one is from Cherie. Hey Cherie, she says, did you know in Endgame 2019, Korg is shown playing on a PS4 even though it's 2025? That's because the PS5 is still out of stock. It's, it's a reoccurring theme. We're going into 2021, and I honestly thought that like when that ball dropped, you thought they were gonna be everywhere. would magically appear. No, they're saying like springtime, maybe. Maybe springtime. Free, happy Easter. Ma meanwhile, you have two kids in our house that are trying to get them, and, or two people. Me, I, 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 two I, kids. I'm a kid. Two right? children, two toddlers. <laughs> but can't get them anywhere. And then I'm seeing on Facebook and on YouTube, all these people like, hey, I got my boyfriend, I got my husband an Xbox One or a PS5. And I'm like, where did you get that thing? Like, <laughs> I what bot up. did you hire? Yeah, exactly. So, okay, Who do we, you know? We have one more. It's from Laylee. Hey, Laylee. She said, for Christmas this year, I had a lovely thing happen. I woke up Christmas Eve morning and decided to step on the scale. For the first time in I don't know how long, I was under... 250 wow. pounds. I still have a long way to go, but I know my body is changing and healing and I see and feel it daily. My joints used to be swollen all the time. I could feel the fluid over my knees and had to wear compression socks. No more. I press my knee now and I feel bone. I'm so happy that I found Keto Chow and Two Crazy Ketos. It had, it's great to have the support groups to turn on. You have become part of my daily life. We are so glad that you're part of our family and I love that success. What a great gift on Christmas morning. Mm -hmm. Is there a better gift than feeling better? I mean, I love Christmas. I loved Christmas 100 plus pounds ago. But this season, being able to fit in the chair next to Anthony and snuggle with him on Christmas morning and the ability to ride bikes with my kids and go on a hike with my family when we were doing our post-Christmas family trip, that is priceless. There is nothing that you could buy for me. There is nothing that you could serve me as far as food goes that is worth more than that. Mm -hmm. It's it's really a great gift and it means that every single day is Christmas. Every day is is a magical day where I don't feel terrible and I have hope for the future. Yeah. So. Well, that's going to be this week's Keto on the Couch. We really greatly appreciate you guys joining us in. Now, don't forget, we will be live streaming on Thursday at 8.30 p.m., Eastern Standard Time. We also have several other videos coming out, so make sure you subscribe to the channel. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, there are 94 other Keto on the Couches, which I'm gonna link in a playlist right down there. 
Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you can find right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a video in 2021, you'll be alert to it. Until next week. Bye. bye.